What's up, everybody? Welcome to Cat and Beats, and welcome to another episode where we're going to be continuing uh, this mix of an unknown artist for now. And um, yeah, it's going to be pretty cool. So let's see what it sounds like right now. So as you can tell, it sounds a little bit different from last week. I changed a few things. By the way, if you are interested in picking up this project file and joining a community full of nerds, uh, please go over to patreon.com slash cat and beats and support this tiny little channel. Uh, and also when you're there, I can go over your mixes and have a good time in general or questions or reverse engineering sounds, but it's good times. All right, so last time, um, we left off, I said, I don't like this lead group, it sucks, there's something off, I need to get some oomph out of it, and that's this group. And last time it sounded like this. And it's cute, but it doesn't, like, give me that... You know what I mean? So here, this is what happened. Um, I took, I first, the last thing, I, what I did was I uh, panned each one static, so left and right static. But I know that the artist really likes Pritz, so I'm kind of using a lot of little things uh, from Pritz. And uh, one of them is to pan, and not pan steady, but pan um, continuous. Uh, so I'm using an auto pan for that. So each lead has an auto pan on the rate of 3 8 and it's constantly moving around. So without it, it would be static and it would sound like this. Which is cool. But then I was like... See, it's like constantly moving around. It's also not playing a very big part in the mix, kind of. So I'm kind of just pushing it so it can move around and the person can go like, Whoa, that's like awesome. And then, regardless of everything, I just still found it to not really have any mozzi. Um, so, balls. So, I wanted to add some ba ballage uh, <laughs> with Fat Filter Saturn. And I added this uh, distortion. I know it's a bit much, but with the mix knob, I can adjust it later on. Uh, then a little bit of EQ8. I know I'm supposed to use Fab Filter, but I thought to myself, EQ8 is going to do the job fine as well. And a quick reverb. And I think overall, it then sounds pretty good. I think overall it's there. And uh, one thing I noticed about my mixing uh, lately is that I'm like drum first kind of guy. So what I'm trying to do now is just push my mids a lot more than I used to. So uh, I'm getting used to that myself. So yeah. Like before I had this set like this. But I really want to hear it. Anyway, now that we have that, I'm pretty happy with that overall. We have these random things called stabs, which I haven't mixed yet. Okay. All right, so we have those things. Uh, let's just sort those out for a second and get them to sound good. I feel that, that is, this is more of a rhythmical... Uh, piece so i'm gonna actually put these so-called stabs into the uh, drum bus because then if when it's in the drum bus it's going to be able to get its compression from there as well and then everything will have the same amount of compression going on so let me just uh color this the right color uh, i always suggest you do the same and let's just have a little listen to if we need this processing just seems like louder so it doesn't really make too much of a difference the capitator okay a little bit of top end adding there 
Uh, limiters, whatever. Utility, it's in mono. I don't need, think we need to have this in mono. We can actually have that in stereo. We have a, what the fuck is this? Oh yeah, we have a sidechain, that's fine. And a kickfall. Uh, so that I guess that's when there's some automation done, but I can do that later. Okay, so let's have a good time with this and make it a little bit more rhythmical and more fun in the overall track. I'm going to take away all these um, these sends that were put, put in. And we're going to re-put this in. And we're going to make sure that these stabs rhythmically make sense with the uh with the with the drum track here so we're just going to loop this and let's just loop the drum track by itself i kind of don't want it to go one and two and three and four and so i will actually just replace those things to instead of one and two and three and four and two uh to the one e <laughs> What are you on about here? The so 1 16th notes. And let's just move this thing over there. And let's move this thing over. Burp, 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 burp. There. Go. I know that's a little bit intrusive from the, uh, from the, you know, this is more of a, what's it called? It's not a mixing decision, but I just know that it will sound better that way. Let's also turn this one down. And turn this one down. A little bit less of this. Less. Hello. There's a button for it. There we go. And it's all very, uh, very cut. So I kind of want it warmer. Um, hmm. <laughs> Having a little look around here. Why it's so cut? Is there a cut overall? No. Hmm. Um, they're all, all the EQs are exactly the same, so I'm going to take all the EQs off for a second. Except for the last one, because it sounds nice. Um, actually, you know what, I'm going to take the last one off as well. Let's place it overall. And let's warm it up. I am completely and utterly in love with the saturator uh, of uh, Fab Filter. I think it's literally one of the sexiest little plugins I've had in a while. Um, warm tape, let's go warm to drive the living. I mean, it's just instantly fat as snot. Um, let's also fat as snot. What a weird, you know, I, I always record everything on the fly and I sometimes amaze myself with the stupid shit I say. Uh, here we go. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, let's turn that down a little bit. Specifically this last one. Okay, very nice. Let's pan it a little bit. Uh, we'll do 10. Okay, cool. Um, now something a little bit more rhythmical. So we have... That, that, one, two, three, four, like the um, 16th, but with a triplet feel. Now, for the life of me, I don't understand the Volcano um, 2 or Timeless, but let's just plop it on, see what we can do. Um, wait, yeah, let's see. No, not that. Let's see what we can do at 16th notes. And again, this is a plugin from 2010. So back in 2010, things were still really difficult. 
Uh, <laughs> at least for me, I'm always like, what? Why would you, what? You know, nothing says 16s either. It just says one bar, one bar bounce O. I guess let's just try that out. Okay, at least we have 16s. Let's do this one with a 16th as well. Let's see if we can find something. No, best of. Go boogie. Is there, let's do a little bit less. I do like about Fat Filter that you just kind of get lucky with these old, um, these older plugins of them. You just kind of go like, oh, well, you know, that actually doesn't sound too bad, you know, which is really, really nice. Uh, let's pop this behind. And let's pop in a little bit of that Boots and Cats. And I think overall this will fit in quite nice now. Let's hope that it does. With just the drums. Let's try to place this somewhere else because I'm not really feeling it. Uh, maybe reverse it or something. Uh, it's not really sounding that good. Uh, let's duplicate that. Let's maybe reverse into it. Do something with this. I'm, I'm not really feeling this thing. Uh, and let's also volume this down. I think we're good. Okay, and then we'll just have to make sure that, that that stabby percussion stuff makes sense over a longer period of time. But I think overall this sounds pretty good. Um, and I just need to copy paste and fix things that I need to fix. Okay, but that's not too bad. Okay, let's continue with the rest. We still have some vocals to do as well. Hear the vocals. I can't hear the vocals. Okay, let's let's do some vocal work together now. I love doing vocal work. Vocal work. Uh, let's see. We have all this stuff that was on impact delay. Uh, let's turn that on. Let's have a listen. Okay, let's have some vocal fun time. Uh, let's just delete everything we don't need. Uh, I'm just gonna delete everything actually, uh, because we can. There's a massive stack of stuff. Uh, okay, let's listen to the difference for a second. So just because sometimes I don't want to delete. Okay, just lots of top. Um, and then we have a limiter. It's not doing anything except for putting the volume up. So let's first start with putting the volume up. And, bo -bo 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 -bo. and then, of course, I don't know where the volume button is because that's not what I use. Okay. I know there's a volume button somewhere. No, that's just the looking button. Oh, here. So let's put that to 0 dB. Yay. Okay. Now, let's first start with a little bit of EQ. And I love that there is already stereo information as well. 
That's great. Uh, Il EQ Pro Q3. Okay, as you can see, it's already cut. But I know that uh, the vocal is really high, as in top and focus. So what we're going to do is just add a shelf EQ here. And let's shelf it up here. That's nice. Um, let's also reverb hi uh, him, her. I don't even know. Kara. I get. I don't know what it is. Let's just call it uh, an it. Uh, let's also get a pro R here. Pop that in there. Put 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 up, put, 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 put some reverb reverb on her. You can always go. A lot more wet with reverb on vocals than you would initially think, by the way. So just remember that. Let's go bright. I'm thinking to have this, but then have a second reverb as well on a send. Um, yeah, let's have another reverb. We're just going to have a vocal reverb there. Um, reason that I'm doing that is it might sound a little bit more clean that way. Yeah, okay, I'll keep that in mind for a second. Uh, I like using two reverbs, which just sounds a little bit weird, but it will make sense in a bit. Okay, so let's go a little bit longer, and her here, <laughs> I kind of want to call it a her. I'm putting that longer as well, Boop. and then we're going to do some vocals shooting at the end, so with automation. This is always a bit of a, a bit of a mess around. Oh, there, turn this off. Okay, and the last part, we're going to bump her out, buff. Because I want the reverb till to last exactly till the next uh, part where if you comes in again. So this reverb till needs to stay right there. It's going to sound up. Right? Two, three, four, and. And now to again honor that, that dude that the artist is inspired by, just using his mix technique uh, and giving that a little bit of panning as well let's give it a slow pan so it's really obvious and let's go let's go with this thing and let's make this nice and bright um yeah i'm gonna go a little bit more that's it yeah slower Perfect. Okay, let's try that out. Perfect. Now we're gonna get the vocal reverb set right here, so that the I don't know, so that it's um, sounds normal, I guess. Volume. Okay, and now let's take her over here and let's give a little bit of bounce to it as well. Let's see what what would happen then. Uh, it's 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 going to be a little bit of a mess around, but I love doing vocals just because you can get quite more creative with it. Okay. The only weird thing I have about this vocal is that it's like if 
you go so my right right i think my whole camera system is by the way going down slowly so <laughs> that sucks um i kind of not happy that it's going to go right right so let's let's just get a utility and adjust the width a little bit um do 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 Okay, and then let's do a, uh, so when my hand goes like this, I'm doing delays. So when the person says, if you, 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 uh, 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 that would be nice that it would be there uh, to kind of just add into it. Now, again, we have to use that one random ass delay thing that I don't know how to use. Ugh. Um... <laughs> So I guess, uh, I guess, let's just try it out. I mean, that is the nice part about messing with these plugins, that you learn something new and you get a different sound that you're used to because you're forced to not use something that you would normally use. So if you, this is where the U is set. So let's do this and see where we end up. Okay, and then if you, you, uh. <laughs> this is gonna be a fucking mess. Uh, you know what I'll do? I will figure out which of these presets will give me a you, you on a one eighth note so that I can keep it on the upbeat. And I will leave this a little session to it because it might be me just going like, uh, 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 and that's not that much fun to watch. So I hope you've enjoyed yourself thus far. Remember, please go over to Patreon, then you can get this file with all of its awesomeness. And um, you also support the little channel then. What else? Make sure to like, subscribe, and if you've made it this far, congratulations. Uh, that's pretty impressive. Okay, I'm gonna now mess with this thing until I get the you you that I want to get. <laughs> Cheers.